Hello YouTube family and welcome back to my channel and this Wild Card Wednesday. And today we are going to do a Q&A video where I answer your questions. So today we're going to do the Q&A video that I promised you a few videos ago and I have been collecting some questions. So the first question is from Drumming Family. I'm so excited to see your new collaboration. Thank you so much and you're going to see more about that in the future. My question for you is what is your basic workout regime and what about your diet? So this is coming and going a lot for me, like how I'm working out and how my diet is. It's coming and going a lot because I always set up new goals and things. But as for right now, when sitting here filming this, I'm still not able to work out as properly as I want since I had a surgery just six weeks ago on my knee. But my workout routine is usually Monday to Friday and at the moment I have rest day more or less all Saturdays and Sundays. Sometimes I go and work out on a Sunday or Saturday but it's not like in my plan. My planned workouts are from Monday to Friday. And I do my workouts in a fasted state very early in the morning. I am in the gym five o'clock in the morning when they are opening just because I want to do a proper workout before I start my normal work, like everyday work. And how I'm working out is I'm mixing a lot, I'm doing a lot of full body workouts and sometimes I'm doing like upper body, lower body. So that is how I'm splitting it at the moment. I'm doing either upper body, lower body or full body workouts. What goes for my diet, I have a very mixed diet. And I'm a huge believer in that you can eat everything but not all the time. I am cooperating intermittent fasting every here and there but I don't have like a strict specific diet. If we say my normal diet as for right now is that I'm trying to not eat sugar and I'm trying to eat kind of clean food Monday through Friday and then I can have some snacks on the weekends and Monday through Friday I do not eat any dairy and um, like very healthy and like normal food and uh, what goes for my diet most of the time I'm not so much into half fabricate or like pre-made food I'm more or less always doing my food from scratch. Thank you so much for that question I hope I answered it properly. So next we have from Ms. Tonda who are your fitness inspirations? What are your top 10 favorite leggings? Would you do fashion hauls from Fashion Nova, Pretty Little Things, AliExpress, etc. So I will definitely do more fashion hauls and I already have orders coming in from different stores and also AliExpress. So since I started my Fashion Friday, I have now decided that I'm gonna upload every single Friday. So it's going to be like a key, like my Mondays and Saturdays review videos. Fridays is going to be all about fashion and you're gonna have one video every Friday. So you're gonna have a lot of fashions coming from me. And what goes for my fitness inspirations, I don't don't have specific fitness inspirations to be honest. I do like to follow some inspirators online and I take my inspirations ever here and there but my main main focus is always to be the best person of myself so I'm trying not to compare myself so much with other because my body is not the same as their body so it's always going to be different anyhow so that is how I'm trying to thinking about it of course I can get inspiration from some other people I wouldn't say that I have specific inspirators and my top 10 favorite leggings I cannot answer that question. I'm sorry. It's too hard. I mean, I have so many leggings that I love. So that's like, I'm going to slim down in the beginning of next year. I'm going to go through all the leggings I reviewed during 2019 and trying to pick out my top 10. That is like how, how close I can go to this question. I'm sorry. I cannot say now my favorite leggings because I have so many that I really love. Next question is from... Ah, Eva, I'm, I'm not gonna pronounce your last name, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. How old are you? What is your guilty pleasure and do you like Ikea? So thank you for those questions. And I'm 31 years old. I do like Ikea, uh, I don't mind, but in Sweden more or less everyone has Ikea. Some of their things is like a little bit boring for me to buy because everyone has them. But Ikea definitely have good furnitures for a good price, so I definitely like Ikea. And what is your guilty pleasure? Hmm... My guilty pleasure. I am a sucker for ice cream. I love ice cream. Uh, I have a few favorites like Ben & Jerry Half Baked or Hagen Dazs Salted Caramel or like ah, love them. But I, I mean I love all candies and things but I am also a lot into healthy snacks like healthier options like I'm doing my date kind of snacks and things. I'm really into those as well. So like 
I also have some kind of foods that I really like that I don't have on a regular, like bread and some different pastas. So I'm, I'm a lot into food. I love all food, but I don't treat myself all the time. Then we have a question from Avery L. Do you do intermittent fasting or counting calories? Uh, yes, I do intermittent fasting every now and then. I don't have like a prepped schedule for it. Like every day I'm breaking my fast at six and etc. I am doing intermittent fasting sometimes and sometimes I'm not doing intermittent fasting. But when I'm doing intermittent fasting, I'm doing like longer periods. Today, for example, now when I'm sitting here, I am now up in 18 hours of fasting. And yesterday I did 24 hours of fasting. The day before that I didn't fast. The day before that I didn't fast. And the day before that I did a normal like 16 hours of fasting. So when I'm doing fasting, the minimum for me to call it fasting is 16 hours but most of the times I do up until like 8, 20 or 24 hours of fasting. I have not tried more than 24 hours of fasting so far but um, maybe I will try it in the future. What goes for counting calories? No, I'm not counting any calories. I have been counting calories a lot before but now I'm not into counting calories at all. I'm more into intuitive eating and I feel like it's more about the hormones than the calories, so I'm not into counting calories anymore. So the next question is from Sunstar. What was it like to compete during your pageantry days and what sort of things did you have to do? So uh, I did do a lot of pageants before, like beauty pageants, and I loved it. I did love it so much. And uh, I mean, to do the pageants in Sweden was not like so much of an experience to representing your country and going away for three weeks and doing all of these things that you have to do like all the TV things, the TV shows, all the charity works we were doing like it was amazing and I loved it but it was long days I remember you were up very early in the morning and went to bed very late at night so it was like not so much sleep during this three, three weeks and um, I mean, I loved the girls, I loved everything about it and um, it's a little bit heartbreaking that I'm too old to do pageants now but um, it's really a chapter in my life that I'm so proud that I did and I'm so happy that I got the opportunity to do it because I really loved it. Then we have another question from Manfred Bismarck. Do you know how to cook and what this dish is? I think he means what dish I cook. What kind of movies do you like? why Christmas is one day earlier in Sweden. So yes, I do cook and I do cook a lot. I do cook every day and I do like to make my own food. So I like all the different dishes you can imagine and um, I, I love to be in the kitchen. I, I find it to be very like calming and I like to do my own food so I know what I put in my system. And uh, what movies do I like? I like to watch everything but I'm not so much into horror movies. And why Christmas is one day early in Sweden? I don't know, maybe Christmas is one day late in the US. Have you ever thought of that? So then we have a question from Night Hookie 23. Are you close to your family? Are you still doing modeling? Do you have desire to travel around the world and have a bucket like cross off the list before you die? So if I have a bucket list. So yes, I'm very close to my family. Um, are you still doing modeling? Nah, nah, no, I'm not doing so much modeling anymore, but I am doing some photo shoots every here and there. And sometimes I get called in for modeling jobs, but it's not like I can say that I'm doing modeling like I used to do. Uh, do you have a desire to travel around the world? I have been traveling a lot. Like I have been traveling not around the world, but I've been to most all the continents. But I've been traveling a lot. I've been not everywhere, but I love to travel. And if I have a bucket list... No, I don't have a bucket list, but a lot of things I have already crossed off my bucket list. But I have some things that I like to do before I die, but... Ah, uh, no, I don't have like a set bucket list. Maybe I should work on that. I think I should do a bucket list. And then the last questions are from Knihar. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but we have a lot of questions here and those are the last questions that I'm gonna answer in this Q&A. Otherwise, this is going to be too long. So, how do you stay motivated and on track? I think that you're one of the YouTubers I follow who posts the most during the week 
and are so consistent with your uploads. I imagine it must be really hard to juggling your real life, other work and having filming and editing and everything. Yeah! Uh, how I stay motivated, it's all about you. You are the ones who keep me motivated when it comes to my YouTube. I love doing this, I love to read your comments, I love to hear your feedback and I love to see my channel grow and I love to see my channel getting better and better, at least in my perspective it does, like how I'm learning new things, learning new editing, learning new thumbnail hacks and things. So for me that is what keeps me motivated. I love to do this and also I love active wear, I love beauty, I love workout, I love everything that I'm talking about on my channel is generally things that I really love. So uh, that is what keeps me motivated. I think it's so fun to film and edit. And how I'm juggling my life. <laughs> I think most of you would be a little bit terrified if you saw my day because I wake up like 4.15 in the morning. If I have a sleep in I wake up like 4.30. 5 o'clock I had a real sleep in. So I mean, my day starts at 4.15 and then I go up, I have a little cuddle with my dog, I get ready with my active wear and everything and I go to the gym and then I do my workout session, after that I shower, I go a little bit in the sauna and then I start my work at 7 o'clock in the morning. Sometimes I even start like 6.30, depends on which clients I have. So then I work during the day at my normal work and when that work is ending I go straight home and I start to edit movies. So i editing my movies that I have pre film during the weekends because nowadays I do not have time to film during my normal days. So I am sitting with my computer editing, answering emails and I'm also like trying to find new things to review and that takes a lot of uh, effort and a lot of energy to actually go through everything that you have been requested and try to find new things to review and planning. It takes a lot of planning to upload as many videos as I do but I'm planning and doing everything with my YouTube and I'm sitting with that for a few hours and then I'm cooking and sometimes I also go and do my groceries. So then I'm cooking and eating and preparing if I'm gonna have any lunch or anything for the day after. After. And then in the evenings, if I have a lot more to do with my YouTube, I can sit a few more hours with my YouTube. Or sometimes I can spoil myself with watching something for an hour or so and then I go to bed. So that is how my normal Monday through Friday days are looking. My weekends is more or less every Friday evening and Saturday from the early morning until like the midday I do filming. So that is when I'm doing my filming. So that is why I need to prepare everything during the weeks and preparing all my packages and everything and which video is going up when so I can bulk film during the weekends. So I have content to edit and everything during my week. So that is how my schedule is working and it's really a lot but as long as I think it's so fun and uh, I think it's no problem for me to keep it up because I love to keep myself busy. And uh, thank you so much for appreciating that I'm putting up so much content. For me, I want it to be like, my, my goal in the future is that I can upload every single day and it can be like a TV show, my own TV show, like, you know, like six o'clock Swedish time, at least six o'clock, like six o'clock, you have a new video from Denise coming every day and it's different topics every day. That is my goal in the long term. So that is what keeps me motivated. Next question is, how much has your channel grown since you first started YouTube and which videos of yours do you think started your popularity? So of course it's it's been growing from zero up until now we are a little bit over 20,000. So thank you everyone for joining my channel. I have two videos where I've noticed like a turn in my following. The first one was my Gymshark flex review where I reviewed the Gymshark flex leggings and there I saw like it started to bump up with the followers after that. That was also my very first review on my channel so also when I saw like hmm maybe I should do more reviews because I really love activewear. I buy a lot of activewear and why don't I share it with you? The second third point where I started to see a little more growth were when I uploaded my energy seamless AliExpress dupe video. So those are the two videos where I've noticed it like I got a lot of bumps of following after that. What are your thoughts on people who view your channel and only commenting on your physical attractiveness and don't seem to be very interested in the content? I mean, uh, those people are always going to be there uh, and I think those people are on all the channels, more or less. It's always going to be people that are not interested in your content, people that are gonna hate or people that are gonna comment in nasty comments. I'm not bothered so much to be honest because 
I think those people are always going to be there. But I'm very thankful for having so many people that are actually very interested in what I'm posting. So thank you everyone that are very interested in my content. Tell us about Troy. So what can I tell you about Troy? Troy is my baby, my little baby puppy. He's not a puppy anymore. He's <laughs> turning seven. Oh my god, he's turning seven on November 27th and um, he's my baby, like I've had him since he was a puppy. He's actually from my mom's kennel, so she has the mother of Troy and I've been with him since he was born. So uh, I really love that little creature and he is like, he has a big space in my heart. Uh, he's just wonderful. It's like me and Troy, I always say it's you and me against the world because I feel like Ah, I love that little creature so much. So he's a Shetland Sheepdog and he's a very small one for being a Shetland Sheepdog. A normal male Shetland Sheepdog is supposed to be between 8 and 10 kilos and he's only 5. So he's a very small one. Everyone thinks he's a puppy but he's not. But he's just the best. I, I cannot see my life without him. I love him so much. And then the last question for today's Q&A is outside of YouTube work and exercise, what else do you do in your spare time? So I like to spend time with my loved ones. That is how I like to use my spare time, honestly. I also enjoy to cook and I actually like to go and buy groceries and things. And uh, yeah, I, I, I really appreciate like the spare time where I'm just relaxing, but I definitely like to share that time with the loved ones that I have in my life. So that is all the questions and answers for today's Q&A video. I hope that you liked it and I hope that you will give this a thumbs up and let me know if you do want me to do more Q&As because I couldn't answer all of the questions. This video is already very long but let me know if you do have more questions. You can leave them in the comment sections and I will squeeze in a Q&A in the near future if you are interested in that. But with that being said my friends, I want to thank you so much for watching and staying with me to the end and I hope that you are willing to subscribe and be a part of my YouTube channel if you are not already. As you can see we have like a wonderful YouTube family here and I consider all of you my YouTube friends and I'm very thankful for the opportunity to being able to share this with you and to share this experience with all of you. So thank you so much for making it possible for me. So thank you so much for watching and I hope I will see you in my next video but for this time I say bye! Thank you.